system in this border okay I think this is this center pivot point is okay for making this two uh, object to attach okay to make this point as a center pivot we have to move this 3d cursor into this point by pressing shift yes and select cursor to selected okay now the point is moved to that uh, what I can say to that selection point okay I'm going back to my uh, object mode now uh, we have to change the center pivot of this object to that cursor 3d cursor by selecting the origin and select origin to 3d cursor now you can see this uh, tire is now attached well ok let us rotate it ok you can, you can snap the rotation by holding the control key it will smash snap 5 degree ok I am going to make it exactly uh, and degree in y axis okay i think this is okay for your tire okay i'm going to apply this uh, mirror modifier by pressing the apply key okay just pressing the apply key now the uh, mirror modifier is applied to that object you can see the object is not getting updated on the other side okay okay now we will create the focuses of the tire ok I don't know the correct word to refer to tell you what is the name of this uh, focuses that is this this one which is used by the tire to make it grip ok what I can say this is used for making the tire to be gripped in the road ok I am going to teach you how to do that ok I don't know the exact name for that part of the tire ok I will teach you first I am going to select this four uh, faces in the tire and also I'm going to make this as a separate object by pressing a um, P key in your keyboard then select selection separate selection now this uh, faces is now also selected as a separate object okay I'm going to make this pivot point as its center point by pressing origin and geometry oh sorry geometry origin oh sorry to make this origin to geometry yeah that's it correct this is correct okay i'm going to my edge mode i'm going to select this sorry okay i'm going to select the edges over here and i'm going to move i'm going to move this edge by making the normals as the orientation you can change the orientation of that object by pressing uh, by uh, changing the option to normals now you can see it is changed actually we have not duplicated that uh, faces sorry for that okay. sorry for that I'm going to select reselect all the faces again. Now I'm going to duplicate these uh, faces by pressing Shift D. Now the faces is duplicated, and now press P in the keyboard. Now a separate the object is now separated. Okay. Now I'm going I'm going to change the pivot point. Okay. You can isolate this uh, object by pressing the division key in your number pad, so that the object will be isolated. Now I'm going to select all the edges of the of that faces. I'm and also I'm going to change the transfer orientation to origin. Okay, I'm going to change this. I think this is enough. I'm going back to my face mode. I'm going to select all the faces and press E key, and I'm going to extrude it. Okay actually we don't want this faces it is uh, hidden faces the player cannot see, see this faces so we don't want this faces to be rendered so I'm going to delete those ok now I'm going back to my view I think this is quite big ok let us change the length and also we can change this uh, faces I think it's okay. Let us change this one. I think 
uh, global is works fine for this yeah uh, going back to my viewport to right orthogonal and I'm going to move it somewhat okay this is okay yeah okay L now what we have to do is just duplicate this object along the surface of the tire and place it over that okay that's it that is the final task of it okay I'm going back to my right orthogonal view by pressing uh, three key in your keyboard and go to the right perspective view and press five key and go to the orthogonal view select the object uh, in uh, edit mode okay or you can also select the object in object mode also that is not a matter okay I will select the object in the object mode okay now we have to rotate this object along the surface of the tire okay you can rotate you can now you can see the object does not rotate along the surface of the object to make it to rotate just select the center point okay, of the tire okay we will keep this vertex as the center point of the tire and make the 3d cursor to move along um, to move the center point by pressing shift yes and selection to cursor now the cursor is a center point of the entire tire I'm going back to my orthogonal view going to select it okay now we have to move this object based upon the 3d cursor as the center point okay as a center pivot point okay to make the 3d cursor as a center pivot point press press the period key in your keyboard now the object now the object will use the 3d cursor as its center point okay if you move the center 3d cursor the center provide point of that object will also get moved okay so please be very careful in that so i'm going back to my i'm going to adjust going 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 to make the 3d cursor as a center of the, the of the tire okay i'm going to it back sorry I'm going to select the select that object and I'm going to press period key in your keyboard now I can duplicate the object by pressing shift D okay and I'm going to the wireframe mode so it will be very clear for me to duplicate yeah I think it's correct yes now so I'm going to duplicate again also going to duplicate it again there are a lot of method to do that okay this is uh, okay this is one of my method okay uh, this is they have some modifier to create to duplicate this object okay they have some modifiers okay you can use the modifiers to make the object to be placed along with uh, along the surface of that uh, tire okay I'm going to select all the object which I duplicated it okay now I'm going to attach this entire object into a single mesh by just pressing the join key in the toolbar okay I think it's okay. okay now let us make the smaller fox for this okay I'm going to duplicate the entire uh, fox and I'm going to move it it's quite quite along I think it's okay now I'm going to back to my perspective view okay this is the main point so please be very careful in this okay go to the edit mode of that object okay if you are not if you are not in the edit mode press tab key okay in the keyboard and press a key to select all the faces in your uh, object okay then press alt yes to scale the object in its local uh, position that is local orientation of that object the object will be scaled along its local value okay local scale value next I'm going to may scale the object in global value using the global value okay I think, I think the object is not correct in the center position and also I'm going to scale the object in y x axis I think this is okay. Ok, 
okay and also if you want to make some optimization go to isolate that object and remove the faces which is not able to, which is not seen by the player okay uh, so please try to <coughs> sorry sorry for that uh, please try to uh, remove the faces which is not seen by the player okay if we keep the faces which is not seen by the player then the rendering time for that object will be very high and the memory space all those things gets affected by that uh, object okay you can attach the entire object by selecting every ob every object in the scene and press join key okay okay guys uh, that's it in uh, next tutorial i'm going to i will teach you how to do uh, uv for this object in using blender okay i will i'm going to cover in a separate tutorial because it's a very long tutorial next i'm going to teach you how to texture this tire okay okay guys have a nice day bye see you